Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. Customers account on your Shopify store. How to have them and how to make sure they get redirected to the right page with some code. Let's just jump straight in right now. All right, so we are on the store page right here. And first and foremost, I'm talking about the customer account page, this. Now, if you don't have that yet installed, on your team, no big deal. Just go to, to settings right here. Go to checkout. In here, you can activate or disactivate any accounts for your customers. So those are the three options. They're in settings checkout. As you can see, I chose accounts are optional and then this little account logo shows up. All right, the next step is redirecting the accounts. So once I create an account, I wanna be redirected to a certain page. If I log in, I wanna be redirected to a different page. And if I log out, I wanna be redirected to yet another page. Let's do that right now with some code. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go right right here on the online store section on themes. And you're going to click on action duplicate. I cannot stress enough how important this is. If you do not do this step, you're an idiot because if you make a mistake, you're working on your live version and then you can screw everything up. Just make a duplicate, work on the duplicate version. And if you make a mistake, just delete that duplicate version. All right, you got that part. Cool. All right, once it is duplicate right here, you click on actions and you click on edit code. Welcome to the code editor. Now this might look a bit intimidating, but it really isn't. Right here on the left, you're going to click on theme.liquid and then you're going to look for the body tag. Now this is a head tag. There is only two, one opening and one closing one. Closing one should be right here. And this is the body tag. This is the opening. When there is a forward slash, it means you're closing a tag. So this is the opening body tag and the closing body tag is right here. So spacing doesn't really matter in Shopify. So you can do that uh, as many times as you want. We're gonna type enter a couple of times. Spacing don't really matter in code. Uh, make sure you're before it, not here, but here. And then paste a piece of code here. So this is, oh, this is the little script. Now I like to add some uh, notes for the future developer on it. The script for account login redirect. And there we go. And then I indent it and we save it. One thing that's very important to know is that this will redirect to the checkout page. So once it is completed, you probably want it to redirect somewhere else. So we're just going to redirect it to the home page by removing checkout slash just a slash is the home or you can do collections or you can put the um, URL of any page that you want there. The important part is, let me show you, for example, to take it after your myshopify.com. After your .com, you have the slash and then you take all of this part. So starting from here, you just paste that there. What I typically would recommend is that you do a welcome page. So for that, we're going to first create that welcome page, pretty simple. You go into pages right here. You do add a new page. Welcome. Thanks for creating an account. You save this page. You view that page by clicking view page right here. And then you take that URL and that's the URL we're going to use. So when people create an account, they get redirected to this page. So again, back to online store, copy of the butte action, edit code. Bum, 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 bum. We're going back to the piece of code that we have just pasted. It's in team.liquid. It's all the way at the bottom right here. And instead of going to the collection page, we're going to go to our newly created welcome page and we save it. Cool. All right, that's done. Now, 
I personally like people to have a warm welcome, so a little bit of confetti maybe when they come to the welcome page. We're gonna add that as well. That's a little extra here. So for having that, we're going to go to the template page right here. Um, we're going to do add a new template. We're going to choose pages. Welcome. Create a template. This will make more sense towards the end of the video. You'll completely get it. I promise you, Fetty welcome script. Again, a little comment so that the next developer knows what he or she is getting themselves into. We tap it and we save that. All right, so the entire part that we just did right now is when someone creates a new account, they get redirected to a welcome page and that welcome page will have a little bit of confetti. Now let's do the other scenarios. What happens when someone logs in? Well, we want to redirect them not to the same welcome page on congrats of creating an account, but another page, an account page, for example. To make sure we redirect the login users to the correct place, for that, we're going to go right here on the left. We're going to type in login. And then we have here uh, a template called customer login. We click on that one. And then right here, you're going to look for the form customer login, this one. Sometimes there is a no validate behind it. Sometimes there isn't. So this is what you're looking for. As soon as you see um, this form customer login, you know you're in the right spot. You go all the way behind that line, type enter a couple of times, and then you're going to be pasting the input line. Again, the exact code I'll provide it to you at the very end of the video. And so here is the place where you can control as soon as someone logs in where they want to go. Okay, so currently with this code, they're going to the collection all page. That's maybe not ideal. So make sure that you so make sure that you save it. So you probably wanted to go to pages slash uh, account, for example. And then you need to create the account page right here in the pages and make sure it has that URL. Anyway, you can type in the URL that people want to go when they log in right here. And then you just click save. All right, and the last step is when users log out, you want them to redirect them to a specific page. Let's say, for example, an FAQ page. So we're going to go to pages right here. We're going to create that FAQ page. Maybe you already have it created. Maybe you don't want them to go to the FAQ page at all. I'm just creating it for other purpose. This is an FAQ page. We made an entire video about FAQ pages, so make sure to check that out if you want to code your own. Save. We're going to uh, take the URL from that page. We're going to go back to online store right here. Copy of the Butte. Edit the code. All right, so in the team.liquid, again, we added this earlier. Now we're going to add the other piece of code right here for the logout. I'm going to just paste that right here. There we go. I'm going to indent it just to make it look a bit nicer. And here it says, well, when it log out, it goes to collection that all you can leave that or you can go to somewhere else. For example, FAQ page, pages dot FAQ copy. Oh, yeah, pages dot FAQ. We save that. Boom. All right, perfect. Now we're going to be putting our theme alive because there is one more change we need to do. We're gonna go to online store themes, the version we have just worked on because it last saved just now. Actions publish. Are you sure you wanna publish this? Uh, yes, I am, thank you very much. Then remember we did that confetti, which is a fun little extra, I believe. Uh, you can go to pages. If you want the confetti, you just have to make sure you use the right templates. We created the confetti template. So you go to pages, the welcome page will have the confetti. So right here you can do in templates, you change yours to be the page.welcome. Just a quick side note, if you want your FAQ or any other page to have confetti, you just go to that page and you switch it to the page.welcome template and it will have confetti. You can do this with all pages. Okay, let's see how all of this looks. We can just view it right here. Uh, we go to our account. We create an account. Andrew. 
ecomexperts.io. To continue, let me know that I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. I'm submitting it. And here is the welcome page. Perfect. Um, now, if afterwards um, I'm here, I would like to log out. Where is it going to bring me? It's going to bring me to the FAQ page. Awesome. And if later I want to sign in, I just go in. experts.io I sign in and I'm on thanks a lot guys all the code is below if you just follow the first link in the description that way you don't have to pause the video and then kind of figure it out and maybe do a typo so you just go on the first link you copy paste everything that's it also if you like this there's a full channel with Shopify advice on coding on strategy and app reviews Love it if you would give it a little subscribe. Thank you so much and we'll see you in another video. Adios!